So today's video, just real quick guys, I wanna talk a little bit about private rentals and how important it is to be able to balance out having cars on Toro and being able to do uh, side private rentals also. Um, the name of the game is Side Hustles and How to Make the Most Money. Never been so lucky I can have it all. Can I simply ask you where you get this money from? up innovation family how y'all doing tonight this is uh brandon uh your friend your neighbor your host uh back with another video for innovation property atlanta guys as always before we jump to today's video guys remember to like my videos always i know it's repetitive i know it's the same old same old but like my video show me some love uh for firm me out to people interested in learning more about the running car game and turo and side hustles and subscribe to my channel if i didn't say that yet and show some love in the comments section. Um, so today's video, just real quick, guys, I'm gonna talk a little bit about private rentals and how important it is to be able to balance out having cars on Toro and being able to do uh, side private rentals also. Um, the name of the game is side hustles and how to make the most money and earn the most revenue and not just focus on one platform. Me personally, I never use any other platform besides Toro until now where I'm starting to kind of venture into um, <clears throat> into private rentals. Um, so I wanna talk more about commercial insurance and what I did recently, some of the changes I made to my, my fleet and kind of what I'm doing as far as my strategy and processes. So I signed up with Lula Insurance. So in case for you guys that I know what Lula Insurance is, they're basically an insurance company that provides um, private rental insurance um, from uh, for cars you have on the Turo platform. So they have basically two programs I'm gonna be using. You can basically use them full-time to be able to cover your cars on the commercial side. So you can rent them out on Turo and privately. And they charge anywhere from about 125 to 145 a car, depending on what type of car it is. Um, they don't do exotics or anything that's too crazy. So right now um, they don't do the C8 Corvette. It's not one of their cars they cover. Anything but anything else in the fleet pretty much is fair game from Range Rovers to Escalades to uh, the challengers, the chargers, those are fair games. So most cars that are under under, under 50 grand, they'll cover. Um, but the exotic cars or the like Lambos, Ferraris and all that, they don't cover those. So um, I gotta find another carrier for the, for the C8, but I'll work on that later on. So Lula has that program where you can buy commercial insurance full-time to rent on Turo or off of Turo, um, do private rentals. And they also have a program for when you do do Turo full-time, and you're not driving your car, like the days is not being booked. They have basically like a um, uh, a grace period where you can you can drive your cars 300 miles a month and pay $79 per vehicle uh, to have it. Basically, your car is gonna be on Turo full time, and when it's not being rented out, they'll cover you in those grace period times or those times it's not being rented out. So I'm using right now. I'm going to program number two for cars are just sitting in my location not being rented out, but like it could be a three, four, five day gap. I'm basically using Lula for those gap periods. And then when it's rented out on Turo, I, I use Turo's insurance. <clears throat> so that's gonna save me a lot of money, a lot of headache and heartache down in the future. Um, so what I wanna do eventually is get more cars and then do this thing privately, guys. And then, you know, still use Turo as a resource, but eventually do this full-time private because I think you can make more money if you want to invest in marketing along with your own, you know, your, your, uh, your rental software for rental agreements and screening clients and all that. I'm doing research on what the best company is when it comes to rental software. Um, I heard HQ um, is pretty good. HQ Rentals, I think is the name of the software. It's pretty good, but I'm looking at other companies also. So I'll have more videos talking about the software too, besides just the insurance part. But Lula is my new carrier for off periods or when I'm not renting out the vehicle and it's just sitting, I'm, I'm using Lula when I drive it to go get car washes, maintenance, run a quick errand to get 300 miles per, per month for those vehicles. So um, I know a lot of times you guys run into issues now when you're taking out car cars or buying cars in your personal um, name and you gotta get a Geico or Progressive or Allstate and State Farm. A lot of those companies are really catching on to Turo and rideshare platforms and they're canceling people 
at the drop of a drop of a dime when they find out that you're already in your car on a user on a um, on a ride share platform like Turo. So I, if people have reached out to me before and said, "Man, I, I, I lost my coverage. Now I got ten cars with no coverage. What should I do?" Got to consider commercial insurance. It might be a little bit more, a little bit more or less. It depends on what kind of cars you got, but it's worth it in the long run. And make sure you're doing it right. Have all your paperwork and all your documents tied together, so you don't have to worry about insurance companies canceling you. Uh, finance companies, you know, concerned about what you're doing. Are you running a rental car company? I thought this was a personal car. Just make sure you get all your stuff together. So that's why we're going to be talking more about the LLC side and the corporation side in terms of, um, you know, having your own business set up versus running as a personal company. Um, just having all your personal information, personal documents, personal finances all tied to these cars from a long term perspective. Getting started, personal is the way to go because you've got to kind of got to build business credit. And build your name and your brand and all that that gets you know in, in the beginning phases but once you get your name out there you start getting clientele then it's time to start switching that stuff over to llc's and s corps however you want to form your company and get commercial insurance and then get those cars refinanced if you can in your in your business name and not your personal but again don't take on a lot of debt if you don't have to and when you do you know do it on the business side guys i'm going to keep talking more and more about the business side in these videos and how important that is. So Lula, I have a link in my description um, and below. You guys check it out. Um, you guys want to sign up? Use the link below, and you can use my name as a referral, and you know and that'll help you guys get the ball rolling. You can use me as a contact also. If you have any questions, get on my calendar. And my calendar is set up for fifteen thirty an hour. You guys have any questions about you know how you want to format your fleet? maintenance questions service questions all that i'm located in atlanta georgia but i'll be happy to help you guys out any way i can when it comes to your processes and how i can you know add any add any uh any value to that so that's today's video guys just talking about the importance of commercial insurance lula is going to be my off um my going to be my insurance company i'm going to be using when the car is going to be running on turo um just sitting there i'm using lula's going to be my insurance carrier moving forward and I use Turo when they would be running out on Turo. And then eventually I'm gonna start doing a couple cars privately full time and see how that goes. And I'll pay a little bit more as far as my uh, insurance rate, but we'll see how that goes. And I'll keep you guys posted. But right now I'm gonna be doing a balance between Turo and also private rentals, guys. So check out, check out the next video, leave any comments, any feedback for me. I appreciate you guys watching as always. Have a good evening.